Ohanaze Ekenemo. I can book one that goes a curl on you, Maranka. Welcome back to my channel. On today's season of our Ifo Chat B series, we have one elegant, beautiful damsel in our midst, in the person of Miss. Your name? Omaka Uzema Shalom. Okay, yes. Miss Omaka Uzema Shalom. Okay, where are you from? Yeah, Abia State. Oh, I'm from Abia State also. Which part wow. of Abia State? Oh, Abia. What? Yes. That's actually my where I'm from. Wow, Which community? Yeah, is your community? Wow. This series, I promise, is gonna be a bomb. Like two sisters shooting. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. what do you do for a living? Yeah, um, serving for now. NYC. Yeah. Serving Nigerians is an is an occupation. Okay. Do you have any social media handle where you like us to follow you? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on Instagram. Yes. Okay, your Instagram handle. Yeah, yeah at Salon um, yeah. Wheels. Instagram. Just Instagram or yeah, I'm on Instagram. Just Instagram. Okay, please. Well, also on Twitter too, at Omaka Shalom. Okay, please do well to follow her. Okay, Miss Ozema, please can you tell and like entertain or tell us one story that is sweeter than Eba and Okusu. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the story of why a snake doesn't have legs. Yes, so in the land of um, Mitumbi, yeah, there are three people. No, I won't say three because there are definitely four. Yes, yeah, Obina the snake, the other one is um, Ike, okay, Ike the farmer, and we have the farmer, the wife, that is the farmer wife, and we also have the chief, that is the owner of the village of Mitumbi, that is the land of Mitumbi, yeah. So, yeah, so one day, so they, they had a meeting, I think, yeah, something came up, they had a meeting that um, this particular thing should not be tampered with, this particular food should not be eaten, yeah, because they, so actually, there's actually consequences and they will actually pay with their life when they try tampering with it. So, as this go this one and the first set of people are this um, obina kena and his wife Fama. yes so the um if i was like going to the market and yeah they had she had planned going to the market that day so the husband that is kena suggested that okay well, let's go together since i'm in the house i'm not doing anything because the man's a farmer so that day he didn't have anything to farm so um, they're on their way, just you know how couples are playing and this one going. So she went to the market, she got whatever she wants to get, and from there, because of they finished everything on time early, so she decided to like they should stroll. When they got home, they dropped everything and decided to stroll. So at least when they come back in the evening, they'll prepare the dinner. Yeah, so them strolling, so they went to that farm. Oh, sorry, I didn't mention the name of that particular. Um, side the Igwe said in Shugo. So that side is called um, um, the, uh, it's just like a forest. Yeah. So it's called, I'll actually call it um, that land of, um, let me just say Mina. I call it Mina, yes. So they went there, they passed there, and they actually had the talk. So they said, like, ah, please, okay. pause. what was this? Man? So yeah, that was a commercial break we took. So we are back now and everything. So where I stopped, so they were strolling <clears throat> and they went to that place where the Igwe instructed that nobody should go. Yeah, yes. So they went there and like, like strolling, like I said earlier. So and if I saw something like, okay, it was attractive to her that, okay, she like she wants to try it and everything. So the husband was like, no, we should go, we should go back, we should go back, we should not touch that stuff, we should not go closer to it. So it's like she was so tempted that she really wants to touch it and eat it. As so women. yes, as you know how women are. See, so she actually she finally took it. You know how women are like sometimes when they are they determined they want to really want to do this, they will not like to listen to anybody and everything. So she took it and she tried it. She was like, hmm, like it's actually nice. This makes sense that this one. So that the husband should try it too. That you see for herself. 
So the husband was like, no, no, no. She was like begging the man to try it. That is um, the kidna. So okay, I was like, okay, oh, since you ate it, and nothing happened to you. So the man accepted and took it. So <clears throat> after that, so something immediately, something strange started happening in that place. They were, and it was surprising, and they were actually scared that, like, what they, what, what are they going to do? So they started asking their um, self questions I'm panicking scared and everything so the so I don't know okay I think yes they succeeded leaving that place and in the surprising um, the Igwe found out about it that okay well, how so to them to them, they were actually surprised that how the Igwe know about it were they, were they being followed or monitored or anyone yeah. yes <clears throat> and they found out that okay as they were going that um, Obina was, Obina actually is dropped at them. Obina, that was the snake. snake. Yes, was actually he dropped at them and it was the one that went to give Igwe the information. So after everything, so Igwe called for like, called them. So Obina went to the house. Like no, it wasn't Obina. Sorry, it wasn't Obina that went to the house. So Igwe have to send after Obina finished reporting to Igwe. You know, you have to send someone's guards to go to Ikena in former house to bring them so after it happened and they went to the palace and the guards were like okay look at the people this one that one yes For, um, so Igwe was angry Igwe asked them questions this one they denied it the wife denied it so the husband was trying to say something the woman was trying to cover up like no 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 so the man still spoke up that this is what happened no that okay oh that she, he won the wife but the wife refused she insisted that she eat it with her and everything so Ige was so mad and angry like okay that he didn't want to forgive them so how did it happen so Ige was not like they should be thrown into the evil forest yes like they were banished they were banished like anything that like anything that happened to them is their own business nothing nothing so so after everything, so some of them were pleading that Igwe should mercy them. You say, so Igwe refused till still made up his mind that they are banished from there. So that is what really happened. That is how Ikena, the farmer, and Ifama, the wife, left the land of Mitsumbi. So, what this is that? really an interesting story. I learned a lot of things from this. You know, we women, and uh, some women, sometimes we are like once we determine on when we have this decision on doing something, we tend to hold it so strong without looking at the consequences. Or not just women, sharp. Let's say human being, and most times these things won't really be that favorable to us. Sometimes we'll be looking at the present. We won't look far, and had it been informal, looked far, like she would have seen the consequences of that her desire to quench that urge of testing that uh, fruit right it would have so most times let's try to control our urge let's try to look far before you act and for the guys or for the lovers anybody loving anybody for people that are loving themselves you try and not because of love you tend to do what you you yourself you know is stupid exactly. had it been um if a man's husband uh, stood on his ground at least i believe if a man wouldn't have taken that fruit and they wouldn't have been banished so whatever thing you're doing please use your number since my mom will always say use your number six, six. Thank you. Yeah. What that Ifoma? Ozioma, sorry for. <laughs> Thank you. What that Ozioma for this yeah. amazing story. I know you will not disappoint. What that Hafia? No. <laughs> Thank you very much. It was really nice Yay. having you. Thank you. Wish to have you around some other time. Sure. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Like, follow, subscribe. Don't forget. I'm talking to you. Don't forget to follow her. Follow how you enjoy. Thank you. Bye-bye.